Welcome to the Tylos Demo Center. In the following session, you will learn how to create and plan a new project using Tylos. The planning process is designed to work in the same way as if you were planning manually on paper, albeit aided by project management functions. Similar to other Windows-based programs, new projects are created using the File New Menu function. The following dialog shows a list of templates to choose from. A template contains predefined calendars, resources, as well as task templates for special project types such as road, rail and pipeline projects. We will select the Road Builders template for our sample project and click OK. In the new sub-project settings, you can enter specific details for your project like the name of the project and the start and end date coordinates based on the default distance unit selected. You can also define the working times and calendar views, however, this type of data can also be entered at a later stage. We can change now the project name to today's project default unit being meters, start distance minus 200, end distance we will change accordingly to 4200 meters for our project sample. The start date we can change to Monday the 18th and the end date we will change to the 29th of August. The duration of the default working time can be displayed in any time unit defined by the user. Our specific example shows the setting D for day. Uh, a day in this uh, specific example represents uh, an eight hour working day. The project can be, uh, can be stored in your uh, project folder. All information regarding this project will be stored in one single file which can easily be forwarded or shared by email with other people. So by clicking the apply button and saving today's project we will then have created our sample project example which we can continue to work with during this tutorial. The Tylos graphical user interface consists of five main areas. The main toolbar on the left hand upper corner of your screen the Tylos Explorer on the left hand side of your screen, the Tylos Insert Object Toolbar located between the Tylos Explorer and the main working area, the Details Toolbar at the bottom of your screen which consists of view tabs of specific objects in the main working area and last but not least in the centre of your screen the main working area. The majority of the Tylos user interface, however, is managed by the so-called Tylos Explorer on your left-hand side, which is the uh, tree structure displayed here. The Views folder contains views of your uh, plan, which defines a, a certain layout of your project. Uh, this allows you to define an unlimited number of views uh, of your project. When accessing a project, the last view used will be displayed in the main working area of the program window in the middle of your screen. The details toolbar at uh, the bottom of the screen uh, always shows the current data related to the selected items. Um, the view tab here uh, basically displays the, uh, the width of the column and the height of the rows in the main working area. The first object we are going to insert today is uh, a distance graphic uh, which is usually an image stored uh, in a file somewhere. In order to do so we need to highlight the area which we would like to insert the graphic into. So in this specific case let us highlight the row above the distance field by going to the Insert Objects toolbar in the middle 
of the screen. If we click on the insert graphic icon, draw a small rectangle in the field which we highlighted beforehand, we will then receive a dialog called insert graphic object insert options which allows you to insert a graphic in four different ways um, as a uh, symbol from the library, from uh, an insert graphic from the library or an insert graphic from files stored somewhere for example on your hard disk. However, uh, it is also possible to insert OLE objects too. Select uh, the option Insert Graphic uh, from File and uh, click on OK. Don't panic, proceed to the, uh, the add-on folder at this stage and click on the Roadmap JPEG and confirm by clicking OK. And you can see now in the top left hand corner we have inserted a distance graphic which can be altered inside by clicking on and pulling and stretching the, uh, the edit lines. Apart from using the edit lines to change the size of the image, the graphic can also be adjusted using two known distance coordinates within the image. By clicking on the image and pressing the button Adjust Position in the lower left hand corner of your screen in the uh, View uh, Position tab, clicking on Adjust Position and placing the cross between Miles and Jefferson Street while pressing your left mouse button and then releasing it, you will receive a dialog window which will give you the opportunity to manipulate or change the start and end distance coordinates between both streets. In this case we will choose 1200 and 2100 accordingly. By confirming the coordinates by clicking the OK button, you can see now that Miles and Jefferson Street have been aligned according to the coordinates you have fitted. So what we've actually done is we have customized the distance graphic according to the coordinates. One of the main advantages being that if you have to reduce uh, the size of your working area, you will notice that the graphic will always retain and keep these coordinates. Mm, there are, however, uh, other basic objects like text fields, lines or shapes which can also be uh, inserted using the, the insert uh, object toolbar. Within a tileless view, uh, width and uh, height can be changed individually which uh, is not always possible uh, using CAD systems or uh, Excel to create time uh, distance diagraphs. Um, if we change the, uh, the visible view area, for example from minus 200 to uh, say 1000. If we go to the, uh, the details toolbar at the bottom left hand side of your screen, uh, click on cell settings, then change the, uh, the start distance to 1000. And pressing the return button uh, you will see that you have now adjusted the range of the distance graphic uh, within the main working area successfully to a thousand meters. Um, the main advantage is that you can basically clip and adjust uh, graphics uh, accordingly to fit the distance coordinates in your main working area. 
And uh, basically to go back to uh, the, uh, the initial status, simply click on the uh, undo button in the main toolbar at the top left hand side of your screen and we will then return to our status quo. I'm now going to show you how to add distance scales and grids to your time location diagram. By clicking on the cell below the distance graphic and by proceeding to the details toolbar at the bottom of your page on the uh, define distance scales view tab by clicking on the third row from uh, the bottom the dialog that I now receive uh, enables me to uh, change uh, any number of uh, texts, uh, but also values using the F8 key, for example, in the, uh, the text display. Uh, I can also uh, change uh, information regarding uh, the text, how I would like to present uh, the text. However, we will uh, proceed to the, uh, the station point grids by clicking on the, uh, the edit icon button for a moment and uh, this dialog uh, now allows me uh, to insert uh, any number of lines by using the, uh, the plus symbol, the add line icon. However, instead of uh, basically inserting each line separately, there is a more uh, cost effective and quicker way uh, of doing this, namely by clicking on the import and uh, column settings. So basically this dialog uh, allows me, uh, based on uh, the columns shown here, by ticking on any of the boxes which are relevant for my uh, import data, I can uh, then basically import uh, my lines uh, en masse as opposed to uh, singly. Uh, I will now uh, change to uh, my Excel software and basically by copy and uh, pasting the information that I have already prepared and by returning back to uh, Tylos by clicking on the import button uh, you can see how easy it is basically to import mass data as opposed to each and every separate line. So by clicking on uh, OK and by clicking on OK again you can now see that the main working area uh, of a time distance uh, diagram uh, has been uh, updated. Not only text has uh, been inserted, but you can also see that uh, we now have uh, color coded scales and grids, which improves the visibility of my working plan to, uh, to a new level.